um, some changes for you as well, and uh, plenty of them coming up. Uh, before we look at the swimming and, uh, and a small party to be had in Greece, mm. uh, there's also Cameron van der Berg, the businessman, which seems to be taking off quite excitingly. Yeah, thanks. Um, I do have my little business hat on the side that uh, I've been very fortunate enough to have a great business partner and shown me the ropes in that field. Um, I think I went into the the business field, starting up a brand new company, thinking that it was going to be quite easy. Um, I've had so much, fortunately, I've had so much success from from swimming that you that instantly in your mind you think anything you're going to do, you're going to be so successful at. But you kind of forget that whole ten thousand hours thing that you did when you were a youngster to eventually become, um, you know, one of one of the greatest footballers in the country. So yeah, the company's called Touch Fifty Eight after our, my world record time in in uh, the London Olympics. I swam fifty eight seconds, and we consult and do a lot of. Uh, um, sports marketing for corporates. What I love about that is that you had a very clear idea well before your career has come to an end that swimming wasn't going to last forever mm. and that being a former swimmer probably wasn't going to be lucrative enough to, to sustain <laughs> life. Uh, and you gave a lot of thought to what you wanted to do and, and how you wanted to do it. Yeah, I've, I've been fortunate enough to have um, had a lot of great mentors in my life and um, started to look at what kind of the, of of things would I potentially be good at. And um, again, like I said, there's, there was a lot of teething problems, but slowly but surely these things are starting to fall in place. And um, being being fortunate enough to be able to manage that very well with the swimming, so and with the business, and it's almost reinvigorated my love for swimming because the mental stimulation that I get midday through the office. Um, you know, it's sort of, you get in, you tackle the problems, you know, and as soon as I'm almost getting hot for the day out of work, I get to go to the gym and smash some weights. And so it's always a, a nice concentration of exactly what I'm doing and a good break from, from the two um, different worlds. Hello.